Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm Kazaros. I would like to show you the little framework that I put together. Uh, buttons are something that I really would like that exists on Game Maker. So, I made a bunch of them. They have a lot of different behaviors. You can talk the stick press, the toggle, disable, gear one, and check boxes and radio buttons. This is the input text box that I have here. You can type whatever you want, you can select things, everything is customizable if you want to. You can control X, control V and control c control v in here and this is our these are the sliders that i have they are fully completely customizable you can this is all made by code nothing no, none of those rights are are here uh, they are all draw by 9 license too. And you set the minimum and maximum for each and every one of these sliders. It's, it, this one goes from 0 to 1000 a, a and this from 100 to 900. And so on so far sliders for everyone. And these are the models that I have. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot about the dialog box. You can click, uh, the text will go uh, as long as the, the mouse is on the, on the box, but if you click outside, nothing happens. You can override this behavior, of course. And the the text goes to the height of the box so no worries and uh, in, in it exploding the box if it senses if something so the text will be drawn off it will automatically uh, go to another page and flash this icon here everything is customizable and that's it, that's that dialog box. And the models here, this is a slice, nine slice thing that I made. You can stretch it and as you can see, these bits and pieces here will change as long as you change the size of this. They are just uh, standard nine slice things and you just add more and it sort them out and print to make these beautiful compositions they're easy to make not that difficult and this is a, a text box that you can roll with your mouse wheel the slider too, this of course fully customizable too, this is uh, a content panel with objects inside, in this case th these are but buttons, they have to be the same size, you can sort of place things that don't have the same size, but it's, it will not be that pretty, it, but it can have hold buttons of the same size with no problem at all. And here we have the pause thing, you can pause, everything behind pauses too. Then you have the modal, if I click outside nothing happens. And only happens when I click here and it have a callback function. These are customizable, you don't need to worry with anything about, oh my my box will explode if I put too many options. Uh, don't worry, it will figure it out and 
grow accordingly. Okay, everything here have a callback. They just got a. I am seeing an alert on Game Maker here. I don't think I can see that. Let's see what else. Easy Gi is for people that want to draw on the on the room the the Gi, and it's easier. So you just draw the Gi on the room and presto, you have this. What else? Okay, options. And in these options, you can raise the music, lower the music, and same with the sound. These things, when you quit, you save the ini file. And lastly, shake function. The shake function is additive. So if you click, it will shake, but if you click more than one time, it will shake more and you add to the shake that already exists. It's fully customizable, like everything here. I want to give this kind of experience to the developer. They don't need to worry too much about uh, what they need to, to do to just make the, the screen shake okay so that's it this is monastery framework i hope you like it see ya